And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Storikosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a Herrerasaurid that lived in the late Triassic and what is now Brazil in the Santa Maria Formation, and it was a small and probably fast and bipedal carnivore. It had long, slender limb bones, and the tibia was longer than the femur. It had strong hind limbs and small forelimbs. It was estimated to be about 7.5 or 2.25 meters long and weighed 66 pounds or 30 kilograms. And it had a long, stiff tail about 4.4 feet or 1.3 meters long that may have helped it run and jump. Not many fossils have been found, so reconstructions tend to be based on it having some primitive features. So it's often depicted as having five toes and five fingers. It had only two sacral vertebrae, which is a very primitive feature, and it had hollow limb bones with thick walls. The jawbone was almost as long as the femur, so it probably had a large head. It may have had a sliding joint in the jaw so it could move forwards and backwards and up and down, but a redescription of the holotype in 2011 found that the intramandibular joint and a few other characteristics could not be confirmed because of either poor preservation or... It just wasn't available in the material when they were re-describing the holotype. Storikosaurus probably ate small and medium-sized vertebrates. It had serrated teeth that curved back, and it may have been able to catch and hold its prey and slice and tear flesh. The type species is Storikosaurus pricei. It was described and named by Edwin Colbert in 1970, and the genus name means Southern Cross Lizard. It's named after the Southern Cross Star Constellation, which is the coat of arms of Brazil, and you can also see this constellation in the Southern Hemisphere. At the time that it was described, not many dinosaurs had been found in the Southern Hemisphere. The species name is in honor of paleontologist Lulin Ivor Price. Price had found the fossils as part of an expedition in 1936 from Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology, along with Theodore White. The fossils were found in the Santa Maria Formation, Rio Grande do Sol in southern Brazil, and they found a lower jaw and partial skeleton, including vertebrae, rib fragments, femora, tibia, fibulae, some teeth fragments, and more. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, the skull is missing, but the lower jaw is pretty complete. Sterikosaurus is one of the earliest dinosaurs around from about 225 million years ago, and it's closely related to Herrerasaurus. Teuasu barbanaai was referred to Sterikosaurus as a synonym by Garcia and others in 2019. Teuasu was named in 1999 based on a right femur and tibia, and according to the authors, its anatomy was very similar to Sterikosaurus. Brazil's National Museum had a reconstruction of Sterikosaurus, but unfortunately the museum burned down in September 2018. The skeleton, however, is on display at Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash inodino or click the link on the left. 